Okay, in this video we are going to set up a couple of time zones and we're going to do it using the infrared remote. <coughs> Excuse me. So first we'll, uh, we'll check our remote real quick. I know that my clock is set for uh, display selection number one. So I'm going to press the number one at the top. Okay. Let's check the batteries. Okay, you notice this one right here. The uh, positive is actually facing me. And then we'll, we'll check it with the camera real quick. Yeah, it looks like it is working. If you have a camera phone, you can check your remote the same way. You can just press a button and you'll see it. If you look at it just with your eyes, you won't see anything. <coughs> so you can see here on the clock, we, uh, we already have two time zones set up, but I'm going to change these time zones. Um, I think the, uh, the time zone on the left, I'll change that to Pacific. And the time zone on the right, I'll change that one to Zulu. A uh, very important thing to remember, uh, there's only a few modes that you need to work with when you're changing a time zone. In this case, I'll change modes 21, 24, um, I'll check mode 33, uh, even though I'm sure 33 is already set right, and we'll also use 51-1. Okay, so I'll get it first into the mode menu. Uh, so I'm going to press and hold the mode menu button. I'll see flashing on the display. When it stops flashing, I'm going to release the button. Okay, and then you see a 1 show up. So I know I'm in the mode menu now. So I'll press up and go to 21. Then mode menu one time. You see a 1 shows up. That's the second level menu. So that means time zone number 1. So 21 is where I change the time zone offset. The 1 means I'm doing it for time zone number 1. So I'll mode menu again. It's currently set to negative 6, which would be correct for central time. Uh, for Pacific, it should be negative 8. Then mode menu again to confirm. I'll press up and go to 2. Then mode menu one time. Uh, it's set to negative 5, which is correct for Eastern. Uh, for Zulu, it should be 0. I'll press down two times. Now I'm back at the top level menu. I'll press up, go to 24, mode menu one time. Um, this works the same way here. Uh, 24 is where we set the DST. Uh, and, the, and of course the 1 means we're doing it for time zone number 1. So mode menu one time, it's set to 10. For this clock, 10 is correct. So mode menu again, go up to 2, mode menu. 10 would not be correct for a Zulu. It's correct for Eastern, which is what, that's the, uh, that's, this time zone here, that's what we're currently looking at. Um, but for Zulu, there is no DST. So I'm going to change that to 0. Mode menu, press down two times. Now I'm back at the top level menu. Let's go up to 33. Move menu one time. So now we're, the 33 is where you can set an additional uh, 15 minute offset. Now I think you can do 15, 30, and 45. <clears throat> and right now we're looking at uh, for time zone number one. And it's set to zero, which is correct. Uh, we're setting this up for a Pacific so there would be no additional offset. We'll go up to time zone 2. Uh, also correct on that one. For Zulu there would be no additional offset. Press down two times, get out of that. We're back at the top level. Now let's go up to 
51. I'll move menu one time, move menu again, and now you see the flashing cursor show up. Okay, so 51-1 is where you can change your alpha characters. <coughs> so right now I'm on position number one. If I press up, you see the cursor move, and you see the number change to two. That's position two. Now it's on 10. If I go up to 11, you'll see the cursor go to the other alpha strip, right? So when you're inside mode 51-1, you're accessing all of the available alpha characters. So I'm on position 3 now. Well, I'll start here. Uh, mode menu one time, and now you see it changed to 67. Uh, 67 is ASCII code for a capital C. Uh, now I want to change that to P, so I'll just keep going up. Mode menu. Now I'm on position 4. Change that to 65. Up. I'll change this to a C. Keep in the, in the back of your mind that uh, like most people want to configure their, uh, the uh, alpha labels. They usually want to configure it with capital letters. Uh, so just remember that the capital letters start at 65. So that looks, uh, that looks good there. Now, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to blank out some of these right here. If I, if I want it to look somewhat centered, uh, some of these will need to be blank. So we'll start here. If I back this down to 32, that will be uh, just a blank space. So we'll start here, we'll advance this to, to Z. A lot of people have trouble with the alpha characters, but I, I really I think the video is going to help. Uh, once you've seen it done, it, you see it's, it's really simple. So these last two spaces, uh, they also need to be blank. So we'll go down to 32. Okay, so that looks, that looks good there. Um, so I'm on position 19 right now, so to get out of this menu, I'm going to take it all the way down to 1. You'll see the cursor go back to the very first position. And if I press down one more time, it goes back to 51.1, and the flashing cursor goes away. So right now, I, can, uh, I, I really I need to go ahead and exit the mode menu. And there's a couple of ways to do it. Um, you can take this number all the way down to zero, or you can press the timer control button one time. So I'm going to use timer control, and it'll take several seconds. And now it's gone back to the time. And uh, I'm satisfied with the times right here. They, they look good to me. So uh, um, I need to go ahead and save this. If I were to unplug the clock right now and plug it back in, it would uh, it would revert back to the settings that I had saved previously. But I need to save these settings. <coughs> On this clock, there is only one way to uh, 
to do a save, and that would be a special mode number four. Um, and the way we'll do that, we'll press and hold down the mode menu button. Eventually, it will begin to count. It'll go zero, one, two, three, four. It'll do it very slowly, and then I'll release the button, okay? When I release, I press timer control. So I'll go ahead and do it. the button there. There we go. And when it gets to four, I'm going to release. And then timer control one time. It'll take several seconds and it should go back to the time. Okay, so right now everything looks good. Uh, so that is the uh, that's the whole process of uh, changing time zones using the infrared remote. Okay, in this video, I'm going to uh, change my numeric displays. So uh, everything looks good right now. I'm satisfied with the way everything is. The only thing I don't like, I don't like that these are reading 12-hour format. And one way you know that it's in 12-hour is by the PM indicator. That will only show up when it's in 12-hour format. But I want to change this to be 24-hour uh, format, or what some people call military time. All right. So let's, and we're going to do this using the infrared remote. So let's just quickly look at a few things on the infrared remote. I know that my clock is display selection number one, right? So I'm going to press the number one. And I won't see anything happen when I do that. But I know that it needs to be on one. If it's on two or three, my clock won't respond. Uh, let's check the batteries, make sure they're installed correctly. And you see the battery on this side. Uh, the positive is up. This battery, the positive is down, even though the springs are both on bottom. Okay. And one more thing, I'll check the remote using the camera. So it looks like it's working. You can't see that with your eyes, but you can see it if you're looking through a camera. <clears throat> okay, so we need to get this into, uh, into the mode menu. So I'm going to press and hold the mode menu button. I'll see flashing on the first display, and when it goes solid, I'm going to release it. Okay, so I'm going to press and hold the mode menu. Release. In a 12 to 24 hour format, that is set in mode 23. So we'll press up and go to 23, move menu one time, and now the uh, second level menu is displayed. So 23, that's where uh, 12 and 24 hour format is set. The one means time zone number one. Okay. So I'll press the mode menu button one time, and you see there's there's really only two settings. You press up or down. There's only two settings. Okay. So we'll move it to 24. Move menu one time. I'll go up to two. And now that means time zone number two. I'll move menu one time. Go up to 24. Move menu. Press down two times. See, now I'm not in the second level menu. Now I'm in the top level menu. Now we need to exit the mode menu. You can either go down to zero or you can press timer control one time. But I'm going to take it down to zero. I'll just hold it in and let it go to zero. Now it'll take several seconds and then it'll go back to the time. All right. So that, that looks good. Now you can see it is displaying a uh, 24-hour format. It's doing it for this one too. It's just you know, current Zulu time is uh, is only one o'clock.
<coughs> Excuse me. So I need to go ahead and save this. And the only way to do that on this particular clock is by doing a special mode number four. Okay. So I press and hold mode menu. I'll continue holding it. Uh, eventually we'll see it begin to count. It'll go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I release and then timer control one time. Okay, so I'm going to press and hold mode menu. When it gets to 4, I'm going to release. I'm going to release and then timer control one time. It should take several seconds, and then it will go back to the time. Okay, so uh, everything is saved right there. My clock is ready to go. If I unplug it and plug it back in, um, everything's going to still be the same. It's going to remember that I changed that to a 24-hour format.